some of the latest revelations in the investigations into the brutal death of Shanquella Robinson will leave you shocked. Well, here's one. It looks like the victim's lawyer has finally discovered something shocking that will be just enough to extradite the Cabo Six to Mexico to face trial. What exactly did she find out? And could these group of friends be truly guilty? There's a lot to uncover in this investigation, and Shanquella Robinson's family are determined to get to the root of it all. So be sure to stick around until the end, because number one is guaranteed to shock you. Before we begin, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment below saying I have subscribed and I will personally reply to your comment. Let us begin. Number three, a message to Joe Biden. One of the reasons why the authorities in Mexico are yet to take further steps on the Cabo Six group is because the alleged aggressors and their co-culprit are currently out of Mexico. But with the look of things, the detailed letter forwarded to the United States President, Joe Biden, from Chanquella Robinson's representatives may be changing the narrative. Although the U.S. Attorney's Office said they would be pressing charges or prosecuting the Cabo Six group, this may change in the coming weeks if the president approves the extradition request put forward by the Mexican government. Part of the letter sent to the White House that may influence the U.S. president's approval for the extradition request includes a detailed testimony from the Villa Concierge to the Baja California State Attorney in Mexico. In the letter sent to the U.S. President, Joe Biden, Shanquella Robinson's representatives expressly stated that they understand the complexity involved in extraditing U.S. citizens to another country, but they believe that approving the extraditing request on one of the Cabo Six group on the request of a neighboring country, Mexico, will go a long way in assuring the public that the U.S. government will not tolerate cross-national criminality. Shanquella Robinson's representative also clearly stated that they request that the President of the United States accede and intervene in the case in the public's interest. Treat Shanquella Robinson's case the same way you treated the case of four U.S. citizens kidnapped in Mexico. That's the message that keeps ringing from the Robinson family. As part of their effort to ensure that justice is served, Shanquella Robinson's family representative, civil rights attorney Ben Crump, and attorney Sue Ann Robinson, in their letter to the U.S. President Joe Biden, are asking the U.S. government to give their clients the same level of attention dedicated to the case involving the kidnapping of four U.S. citizens in the border city of Matamoros. Slamming the U.S. Attorney's Office for shutting down Shanquella Robinson's file for lack of evidence to prosecute the case, Shanquella Robinson's family representative argued that the delay in making a firm decision on whether to charge the alleged culprits responsible for Shanquella Robinson's murder was a bad taste to the family. Comparing Shanquella Robinson with the four Americans kidnapped in Mexico, Shanquella Robinson's representatives pointed out how officials from various U.S. law enforcement agencies worked with their counterparts in Mexico to achieve the safe return of those kidnapped. In the kidnapping case, which also happened in Mexico, the U.S. prosecutor's office immediately swung into action. Still, in Chanquella Robinson's case, the U.S. enforcement agencies are treating the case with levity. Chanquella Robinson's family representative also pointed out how the FBI was actively gathering information about the kidnapping up to promising a reward to anyone that can help with the whereabouts of the kidnapped victims. Still, the same FBI kept silent and only reacted to the news about Chanquella Robinson's death weeks after the case was reported. Number two concierge statement to authorities in Mexico. Looks like there's more trouble for the Cabo Six group as the concierge statement to authorities in Mexico comes to light. The concierge's statement to the Mexican authorities makes a huge difference in the ever-changing dynamics of the events that led to the death of 25-year-old Shanquella Robinson. On the first report, the late Shanquella Robinson's friends told her parents after returning to Charlotte that their daughter died from alcohol poisoning. Despite their statement not holding up, Shanquella Robinson's family had little information to counter the narrative because there was no autopsy report. 
However, the whole puzzle began to take a proper shape on the 17th of November, 2022, when the Mexican authorities released the autopsy report, which showed Chanquilla Robinson did not die from alcohol poisoning. Providing more credence to what happened at the Cabo Villa, where Shanquella Robinson died, Suni Jaseel Popoca Milan, the concierge at the villa, told authorities in Mexico that he was the official translator to the group of friends when they arrived in Cabo. In his statement, the concierge said Shanquella Robinson seemed to not fit in with others. He said he joined the group for their dinner party the night before Shanquella Robinson died. Speaking about his encounter with Shanquella Robinson, the concierge in his statement said he noticed that the late businesswoman was out of touch, indifferent, and had nothing to do with the celebration atmosphere. He said Shanquella Robinson was out of place at the party. The following morning after the dinner party, the concierge said he got a call from one of the groups asking him if there was any medical facility nearby because there was an emergency. However, when the concierge got to the villa with a doctor, Shanquella Robinson died. Immediately after the incident, the concierge said he went into the villa to express his condolences to the main guest who had called him earlier for medical services, but the reception he got from her was very cold. Speaking further, the concierge said on leaving the room, he heard laughter, and later that night, he got a call from the guests asking him to help them arrange for transportation that could take them to a dinner, which he did. He was expecting them back at the villa the following morning, but he later got information that the travelers had rerouted the taxi to a hotel near the airport from where they fled the country. The concierge said he only got the true picture of what played out when he saw the viral video where Shanquella Robinson was attacked. He also said the aggressor towards Shanquilla Robinson in the viral video was the same person who called him earlier asking about the availability of medical facilities. Speaking on the viral video, the concierge in his statement said, When I saw the video on social media, I realized that practically the main guest manipulated me with the information she provided of what happened to leave the country as soon as possible. Number one reactions to this new revelation. After carefully listening to the statement made by the Cabo Villa concierge, Shanquella Robinson's representative message to the U.S. President Joe Biden expressly stated that they want the U.S. government to, as a matter of urgency, extradite the suspect to Mexico to face charges for the killing of Shanquella Robinson. The family's representative message to the U.S. president pointed out that the government of Mexico has issued a warrant of arrest on one of the group members since November 2022, but the extradition request is yet to be granted by the U.S. government. Ben Crump, one of Shanquella Robinson's family representatives, said there are two options before the U.S. government. One of the options is for the U.S. government to agree on the extradition terms, while the second option is for the U.S. government to bring up the case against the suspect on U.S. soil. While speaking at a press conference, Ben Crump stated, We can't have different justice systems depending on the ethnicity of the victims. Anne Sue Robinson, another family representative, also said she has been to Mexico on a fact-finding mission, and what she learned is that the government of Mexico is standing by to assist their counterpart in the U.S. to ensure they unravel the mystery behind Shanquilla Robinson's cause of death. She also complained that the U.S. consulate in Mexico was reluctant to attend to the case. In contrast, their counterpart on the Mexican side was enthusiastic to begin prosecuting the case as quickly as possible. Anne Sue Robinson also said the U.S. consulate handling Chanquilla Robinson's case told her to work more with the deceased friends to get more information about what transpired before she died. She was quoted to have said, The level of disrespect to Chanquilla Robinson's dignity, even in death, is unreal. She said, The ball is clearly in the United States' court. Also contributing to the movement fighting for justice on behalf of Shanquella Robinson, the co-founder of the social justice organization, Mallory, said they want the U.S. government to respond to the situation and give the case the ideal attention it would have gotten if Shanquella Robinson was a white woman. And that's a wrap for today's video. 
You can let us know what you think in the comment section. And if you enjoyed today's video, we bet you'll enjoy the others that we have for you. So don't hesitate to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button to get up to date on all our amazing videos and hit that notification bell so you never have to miss an update from our channel. Check out this related video to see more. I will see you in the next video.